I'm Dr. Kathy Modecki, here to give a quick rundown on a study recently published in the Journal of Child Psychology and Psychiatry, tuning into the real effect of smartphone use on parenting, a multiverse analysis. This study was a joint effort with the National Public Broadcaster in Australia, the ABC. We ran a national study of smartphone use in families. We've received feedback from almost 4,000 parents around their uses of smartphones, um, the quality of the parent-child relationship, and factors associated with technoference. So uh, the extent to which there was conflict in the families around parent smartphone use, and the extent to which parents were perhaps missing out on time with their children uh, due to their smartphone use. And we took a different tact in this study relative to previous research in that this was a purely exploratory approach. So previous research has generally taken a confirmatory approach and come up questions around parenting and technology use, smartphone use from a risk perspective, presuming that there's going to be problems and, and looking in that area uh, for evidence to support that idea. Here we took a much broader approach and, and, and asked the extent to which uh, relations between smartphone use and parent-child relationship outcomes were weak versus robust to really get a clearer picture about what's happening. Coming out this from the idea that there's probably some good stuff happening as well. We know that smartphones give us access to supports, to information, even just sometimes needed distraction. And we wanted to ask that question in a sample that was large enough um, where we could get a decent sense of what might be happening. We took an approach in the multiverse analysis where we ran 84 different analyses. And what we did is we had 14 different ways we might characterize smartphone use among parents and two outcomes for uh, parent-child relationship quality. And we, when we looked across these 14 different ways of thinking about smartphone use from parents, we found very little evidence that there was an association, correlation between parents' phone use and parent-child outcomes, suggesting very weak evidence uh, in that effect. Uh, where we did find some interesting and more robust findings was around this question of does it depend, an interaction effect. And in this case, we wondered if it would depend on the extent to which there was family conflict around parents' smartphone use and the extent to which parents were uh, perhaps losing out on time with their child due to smartphone use. What we found, though, uh, counter to perhaps many expectations, was that as long as parents kept that conflict to a minimum, as long as they kept that displacement from their time with children to a minimum, more parental smartphone use was associated with higher, not lower, uh, parent-child relationship quality. And what we've got here in this figure is effect sizes. So anything where the confidence intervals don't uh, across the horizontal line, they are highlighted in blue, gives you a sense of um, the effects. And those are all around those interaction effects. And again, that most robust finding was, was that, you know, these low levels of tech displacement, we actually find positive associations, not negative, between parents' use of smartphones and parent-child relationship quality. So really, this is a call for greater nuance in our questions. Uh, Stepping back from assumptions of problems and risks, thinking about how diverse families are and diverse in the ways they use technology, including smartphones, diverse in their access um, to these technologies, and the ways that technologies, including smartphones in particular, might be used to better support parents, uh, especially in times of stress.